I've been using wired access points in my home since 2014. When mesh routers started hitting the market, I was definitely interested, but I never had a need to try them out myself. When ASUS offered to send over their Zen Wi-Fi AX Mini mesh router kit, I jumped at the opportunity immediately. So let's take a closer look. This is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi AX Mini XD4. I got the black version, but they come in white as well. You can purchase them as a single unit or in a 2 or 3 pack. What I have here is the 2 pack. The unit themselves are pretty small and can probably be left on a bookshelf or table and should blend in pretty well into its surroundings. Now before I get into testing the actual devices, let's do a quick 101 on how mesh Wi-Fi works. In a typical setup, you have a modem connected to the main router. Typically, this main router communicates with your devices over Wi-Fi or LAN cable. However, with just a single main router, device placement matters a lot because if it is in an extreme corner of the house, chances are in the opposite corner, you're going to have a lousy connection. Additional Wi-Fi access points solve this by placing secondary units in other parts of the house to extend Wi-Fi reach to those areas. In the past, these typically required LAN cables to be routed around the house to carry the data between the main router and these APs. Mesh Wi-Fi solves this by allowing that data to be sent back over Wi-Fi as well. So now, your phone or laptop connects over a much shorter distance to the nearby AP, which relays that communication back to the main router wirelessly. In short, by significantly lowering network cable infrastructure requirements, Mesh Wi-Fi makes it much easier to create higher performance networks in any home. But of course, you should still pay attention to where you place your nodes. What you also end up with is the ability to chain access points. I could technically reach an extremely long distance or cover a very large surface area by simply having multiple nodes leading me all the way back to the main router. So this is my house. My fiber termination point is here in this living room and we are way over here in this bedroom. I'm going to work through multiple scenarios with these AX Minis, running a series of speed tests each time. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to set up one of these units as the main router here in the living room where my ISP's modem is. Both of these units come with two LAN ports, one of which can also be configured as a WAN port, allowing the unit to act as the main router a wired up link if your home desk happened to be wired up already. The other port can be used with devices such as your PC or gaming console. The identical design for each node unit makes it easier to set up and easy to expand a network. Configurations can be made through a typical router admin portal, but the recommended way to set up your network is through the ASUS router mobile app. Setup was a breeze, simply following through the ASUS wizard to set up a new Wi-Fi network and configure the SSID. I basically let the app do its thing, and after a couple minutes, everything was ready with minimal input from me. For the first scenario, I tested for a single AP performance from three locations, one at this living room right beside the router. At this very close proximity, testing on my 2016 MacBook Pro performed well, with download speeds of 654 megabits per second. Going a little further to inside my bathroom, it fared about the same at 615 megabits. And finally, inside my bedroom, it did drop significantly to 68 megabits per second. Distance plus interference from the many layers of concrete are the probable causes. And this is the reason why I stopped using a single router setup years ago in my house. Now let's see what happens when we add on the second AP in a mesh setup. I placed this unit in my front living room, displayed nicely on this shelf. Setup was a breeze. In fact, I didn't really need to do anything. Upon turning on the AP, it added and configured itself to the network automatically with no input from me, other than simply checking for its status in the ASUS router app. Extremely convenient. Wi-Fi performance in my bedroom jumped to 248 megabits per second. So the next question was, how much performance improve would we get if this second AP was communicating over a wired backhaul instead? I didn't have an extra network cable long enough, 
So it went a bit more ghetto by using these two cables and a network switch in between for this test. With the second AP wired, speeds in my bedroom improved significantly, hitting 603 megabits per second. Now in that first test, my MacBook was already struggling to connect directly to the main router in the living room. But I also wondered, what if I had put the second AP in my room? Would the AP also struggle to communicate back to its parent node? I hooked it up beside my PC and did another test, and numbers were actually at a very usable 235 megabits per second. The radio hardware in these units are definitely far superior to client devices such as my MacBook. Of course, this wasn't enough to satisfy my curiosity. I had to find out, how far could you potentially go? I decided to take it up another notch and moved the second AP to the front porch. I ran a speed test from inside my car and it performed at a very respectable 179 megabits per second. But I still needed to know, how far out could I actually go from my house? I walked to the neighborhood park to test, but it was just a little too far away. Walking back a bit closer though, I managed to pull a miserable 2 megabits per second, but honestly, this was pretty incredible already. This was with just 2 APs. Imagine how much more distance you could cover by adding on even more nodes. The last thing I wanted to test was to see if there was any significant difference using Wi-Fi 6, which the AX Mini supports. Unfortunately, neither my 2016 MacBook Pro nor my iPhone 10 were current enough to support Wi-Fi 6, but I did manage to borrow a Samsung S10 just to test this out. I ran two tests, one at the main router in the living room and another at the second AP in my bedroom, and each time I would run the test with the router in Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 modes. Performance improved slightly in both cases. In the living room, it went from 684 megabits per second to 748 megabits per second. In my bedroom, it went from 323 megabits per second to 367 megabits per second. But honestly though, Wi-Fi 6's key improvements aren't just about speeds. They are about how the network deals with congestion and higher volumes of clients, as well as improving power efficiency and battery life of the client devices. I didn't have enough Wi-Fi devices at home to really be able to demo all of this though. So that's the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi AX Mini XD4 Mesh Wi-Fi system. Honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. I actually recently set up a TP-Link Mesh Wi-Fi system a couple weeks ago for a friend, and the process was a lot more complicated to get working. Sure, it may have been a lot cheaper compared to this AX Mini setup, but you really do get what you pay for. Setting up your home Wi-Fi should be something that just works, without requiring a lot of messing around, all kinds of configurations, and a lot of troubleshooting. In these aspects, I think ASUS really nailed down the setup and configuration process, keeping things as simple and straightforward as possible for the regular consumer. If your home Wi-Fi works fine for you, and you're just looking to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6, I wouldn't bother at this moment. I don't think the costs justify the upgrade. However, if you're setting up a new home, or you're in the market for a mesh Wi-Fi, and you're looking to fix poor performance and blind spots in your home, do consider the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi AX Mini. The performance and the ease of setup really speaks for itself. Even for a network enthusiast like myself, it made me question all the hours and money I put into the complex Ubiquiti Unify setup I currently have. That's all for today. Do hit that like button if you liked today's video, and hit that subscribe button too because there's more great content upcoming. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.